ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு ஸ்ட்ரைவிங் ஆஸ்பிரன்ஸ் டுடே ஐ கேம் வித் அனதர் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டாபிக் இன் அக்கௌண்டிங் தட் இஸ் ரிசர்வ்ஸ் லெட்ஸ் லுக் இன் டு தி மீனிங் ஆஃப் ரிசர்வ்ஸ் a part of profit set aside and retain in the business to provide for certain future needs like growth expansion to meet future contingencies such as workman compensation etc so reserves are created from the profit earned by a business and which is created with the intention of using for the future it includes like growth expansion of business to strengthen the financial position of business also to meet certain contingencies such as workman compensation etc reserves are called as appropriations of profit and this is not a charge against profit this is created after the calculation of net profit so this is meant to cover any non liability or expected loss in the future so when we create this type of reserves that will reduce the profits of the owners of the business in the case of creation of this reserves we are showing in the balance sheet the liability side of balance sheet as reserves and surplus after capital these are the examples of reserves general reserve workman compensation fund investment fluctuation fund capital reserve dividend equalization reserve reserve for redemption of debenture now let's look into the basic difference between provisions and reserves first point on the basic nature difference so provision is charge against profit and reserves appropriation of profit so in the case of provisions net profit cannot be calculated unless all provisions have been debited to profit and loss account but reserves is created after calculation of net profit from this point we can understand to proceed to the reserves we have to complete or we have to charge all provisions and we have to calculate net profit then we have to create reserves second point is purpose provision the main purpose is to know a non liability or expense pertaining to current accounting period so provision is created on the basis of certain non liability or expense of the current accounting period while reserves are created to strengthen the financial position expansion of business growth or to meet some type of contingencies some reserves are mandatory under law so we have to create that uh, reserves and that is mandatory in the business third point presentation in balance sheet provisions are shown two ways like when it is asset we have to deduct from the concern asset and on the basis of liabilities we have to deduct from the current liabilities or the particular liabilities we are dealing with and in the case of reserves it is shown on the liability side of balance sheet after capital the head will be reserves and surpluses fourth point effect on taxable profits provisions are deducted before calculating taxable profits means it reduces the taxable profits but reserves created from profit after tax and therefore it has no effect on taxable profit fifth point compensation element provision need to be created even though if there is no profits in the business the main intention of provision is to get to an fair profit or loss in the business and in the case of reserves there are two cases one case is management can decide which reserve need to create 
and the second case some law will say to create certain resource so we have to create mandatory that resource example debenture redemption resource and another point is if there are no profits in the business it is not necessary to create resource sixth point dividend payment provisions cannot be used for distribution as dividend to owners or shareholders but in the case of reserves general reserve can be used for dividend distribution to the parties owners or shareholders now we will look into the types or classifications of reserves the broad classification is general reserve and the second one specific reserve in the case of general reserve there is no particular purpose management can use it freely for any purpose so it is also called as free reserve general reserve strengthen the financial position of business second one is specific reserve when reserves are created for some specific purpose this is called as specific reserve and that can be utilized for only that particular purpose let's see what are the main reserves coming under specific reserve first one is dividend equalization equalization reserve the intention of this reserve is to is to stabilize or maintain the dividend rate so when there is a high profit in a particular year the sum of is transferred to this particular reserve and when there is low profit in a year the reserve amount is used to maintain the rate of dividend second one workman compensation fund this is to meet certain claims of workers due to accident or some sort of other problems if happening to workers then this reserve is used to pay certain amount to the workers third one is investment fluctuation fund this is created to balance the value of investment means in the market there will be fluctuations in the investment value so to maintain this investment value or to balance this fluctuation we are creating this type of fund in such cases we have to utilize this amount to balance this amount in order to get rid of this fluctuations happening in the market fourth one is debenture redemption reserve this is to provide funds for redemption of debentures according to nature of profit we have two classifications in reserves that is revenue and capital reserves first one is revenue reserves this is created from revenue profits arising from daily activities or the operational activities and this one is freely available for the distribution of dividend examples of revenue reserves include general reserve workman compensation fund investment fluctuation fund dividend equalization reserve debenture redemption reserve and the second one is capital reserves this is created out of capital profits means this is not created with the profit available from the daily or operational activities so because of that this is not available for distribution of dividend also so this capital reserves are used to write off capital loss or issue of bond shares in the case of a company these are the examples of capital profits or the capital reserves or the amount which is kept for the capital reserves that is premium on issue of shares or debenture profit on sale of fixed asset profit on redemption of debenture profit on revaluation of fixed asset and liabilities profits prior to incorporation profit on reissue of forfeited shares so amount from all these are used to create capital reserves so in this video we have seen the reserves and the types and the important difference between provision reserves so i believe that you got a 
brief idea regarding the reserves. So let's see in the next video. This is trying wing aspirants signing out. Thank you.